Welcome to our first For Honor Champion Guide. Before we start, note that there are a lot of Champion Guides out there. We are trying to get a bit more in depth and so we hope ours will give you the information you are looking for. Of course, just watching this video won't make you a master of this champion, but its purpose is to give you an insight in the champion. With that out of the way, let's get into the guide. In this guide, the spotlight is set on the Orochi. We'll get into the gear, weapons, feats, moveset combinations and give our recommendations on how to get the most out of this champion. Similar to the Peacekeeper and Berserker, the Orochi is an assassin. Where the Peacekeeper is a counter-attacker and the Berserker is an aggressive and offensive champion, the Orochi's fighting style lives up to its name. The Orochi, meaning serpent, specializes in dodging and deflecting, followed by quick attacks. It does so with its iconic weapon, the katana. Its armor consists of wooden plates and light leather. This means you are at the lower end of the spectrum when it comes to your health, with 4.5 bars of health. This is quite little in comparison to the heavies, who have 5.5 bars of health. The lower defense, health and dependability on timing your blocks, dodges, deflex and parries make it a hard champion to master, but very satisfying once you achieve to do just that. Its feats, which are similar to killstreaks, are similar to that of the other champions in that it's divided into four tiers. Tier 1 allows you to choose from Bounty Hunter, which allows you to gain health and stamina when you kill another hero, Kiai, which stuns a nearby opponent with a scream, and Iron Lungs, which means you can still sprint when you're out of stamina. Out of these three we recommend Kiai. Within a small proximity you are able to stun the opponent, which opens a window for you to attack. The second tier has three options as well. The smoke bomb allows you to throw a smoke bomb on the ground that breaks the lock of the opponent. Kunai, which throws away the dagger that damages the opponent. And revenge attacks, which makes attacks fill the revenge meter. We recommend Kunai since it increases your capability to attack at a distance. Often it surprises the opponent, especially when it's used at the start of a fight. In tier 3 you can choose the longbow, which fires a longbow for heavy damage, sharpen blade, which make your attacks gain a bleeding effect over a short amount of time, and slip through, dodging raises attack for a short duration. Longbow is the one we recommend. It deals a lot of damage and most of the time it will take your opponent by surprise similar to Kunai. In the final tier you can choose from Nail Bomb, a trap which deals bleed damage in an area of effect. Fear itself, which lowers attack and defenses of your opponents around you. And Aerostorm, which is an aerial attack that deals medium damage in multiple areas. The final feat that you want to choose depends on the game mode you play. Overall we recommend fear itself because this will benefit you most in a fight, but in game modes like Dominion, the Nail Bomb and Aerostorm could come in quite handy as well. Like we said, the fighting style of the Orochi is to dodge, deflect and quickly attack, but also to harass your opponent. The movesets and combos are at the core of the playstyle of your champion. Truly mastering a champion comes down to perfecting these movesets and knowing when to use them. We won't get into the basic moves, since most of you will find these through the in-game tutorial or other guides. So let's get into the movesets. Before entering guard mode you can sprint at the opponent and perform a heavy attack to quickly get in some damage and start off the fight with a slight advantage. Chaining attacks is always a good move once you're in combat. The first chain attack is called crosswind slashes. It is performed by doing three light attacks. This sounds pretty basic, but beware, time these moves well. Performing them too quickly or too late will result in failure to chain them together and a missed opportunity to deal some good damage. Secondly, when doing two top light attacks, it will automatically result in a combo, making it impossible for the opponent to block it. 
It also can be used when the opponent is performing an attack, preventing any damage he or she could have done to you. Thirdly, don't forget to change your guard to attack from multiple directions. The other chains have heavy attacks and a heavy attack followed by two light attacks. Use these three together for variety and to be unpredictable. Perform a lightning strike to quickly attack the opponent from the front by pressing forward, dodge and a light attack. This can be used in close combat, but it leaves you quite vulnerable. Use it when you're confident that the opponent can't counter it. Deflecting is one of the many ways to avoid getting hit, and this champion is amazing at it. You can deflect attacks when in guard by dodging left or right at the right moment, just before the opponent attacks. Follow this up with a wind gust or a hurricane blast by pressing the light or heavy attack. The wind gust can't be blocked or dodged, however, however the hurricane blast can, but this deals a lot more damage in return. When you're not certain you can hit the hurricane blast, you can cancel it with a dodge, guard break or light attack. When in close proximity, you can perform a Zephyr Slash to dodge an opponent's left or right attack by dodging in that direction and using a light attack. This will prevent you from being hit quite a lot once you master it. You can do a similar attack called Riptide Strike by walking backwards, holding mouse or right analog stick up and performing a heavy attack. This will dodge any incoming attack, followed by a leap forward and heavy strike. This move is somewhat trickier since it needs to be timed well. Taking the opponent by surprise is one of the strengths of this champion. Perform a storm rush to dodge an opponent's ranged attack and strike immediately after. Depending on the range, it can give the opponent plenty of time to react. So we recommend you to avoid using it when the opponent is waiting for you. Unlike in the alpha, this move can't be cancelled. The Orochi is in general very effective against slower champions like the Warden, Warlord, Conqueror and Shigoki. Effective counters to the Orochi are the Nobushi, Kensai, Raider, Lawbringer and Valkyrie since these champions have range on their side and dodging their attacks is quite hard. So in short, Dodge, deflect and counter your opponents, followed by light and heavy attack chains. We hope you have found the information you needed to master this champion. If you are interested in any of the other champions, you can click on that champion and it will refer you to their in-depth guide once it's made. Now, go out there and practice your Orochi, because practice makes perfect.